So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha, and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today we're going to answer the question, how much money do you need to short or sell stock? So this is a big question that people ask all the time, and it's particularly interesting when people start getting into the world of investing and trading they learn that they can actually make money by shorting stock or selling short stock, and they can make money after the stock drops in price. So you don't have to make money necessarily by buying stock and then selling it at a higher price. You can sell it or short sell it and then buy back in at a lower price. So now the question is, well, how much money do I need to start doing this? Well, there's a couple things you have to think about. One, you have to think about the initial margin that's required on a position, and many brokers then kind of hamburger on or like stack on top of that their own individual brokerage requirements. So right now, FINRA, who's the regulatory agency for this, requires that you at least have $2,000 in your account if you're going to go on margin to do this, which is what you would essentially be doing when you go short stock. And many brokers like Charles Schwab or Fidelity or TD Ameritrade require that you have something more than that in your account before you start selling stock. So there's the standard for FINRA and the regulatory side, and then the brokers will also layer on top of that their own requirements for what you have to do to sell uh, short stock. Besides this, FINRA also requires a maintenance margin, which is 25% of the value of the shorted stock in your account. So this is important because they want to make sure that you have enough money to cover any potential losses should the stock actually increase in price, right? So if you short stock at, say, $20 a share and it goes up to $30 a share, you're going to have to come up with more cash or just have enough cash there as a cushion to allow for the 25% of that new stock price in the future. Some brokers are even as high as 40% or 50% in maintenance margin. So again, FINRA is just kind of like setting the bar here, 25%, but then most brokers will have some sort of layered protection on top of that based on their own risk parameters and how risky they perceive your account or people with your types of accounts being when you short stock. Ultimately though, as an options trader, I don't think you ever need to short stock. You can go short a security and bet against that security if you want to do that with options, and you can do it in a much more risk-defined, capital-efficient manner with a much higher probability of success. I think shorting stock is great and is fine. I think it's a good thing for the industry. I just don't think that people need to do it on the retail level, the personal level like me and you when we're actually trading. I think it's just way too much risk for individual traders to be shorting stock. I don't think you need to do it. I think you can use options as a means to uh, bet against the security or bet against the stock going down. And it's much more controlled, much more capital efficient. So hopefully this helps out. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, happy trading. Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.